so our very first note says the prophecy and the promise of the second coming was made within the Sinai covenant thus it must have come to pass before that covenant ended and this is this statement is based on Jesus's covenant prophecy principle and um, basically the covenant prophecy principle says that all promises and prophecies made within the Sinai covenant must be brought to pass before that covenant ended all right um, I have done a, a, a mini study on this prophecy principle so that you can you can understand it in detail so you can go to the channel and look in the playlist that says mini studies and look for the Jesus prophecy principle I think it's the Jesus covenant prophecy principle I think that's the name of it I'll put the link if I remember right above here but if not you can as I said go to, go to the new new cosmos video cast channel Look in the playlist which says mini studies and you'll see the Jesus Covenant Prophecy Principle video there. It's just, it's just about 10 minutes long and that will help you to understand this principle. But basically it says that once the promise was made to Israel under the Sinai Covenant, it had to be brought to pass to Israel within the Sinai Covenant before the covenant ended, right? And so Jesus, the, the prophecy of the second coming was made within the old covenant. Did you know that? <laughs> All right. Well, first, let's go to, let's go to Matthew 24, 30, and then we'll go to Daniel 7, 13. Okay, so let's head over to the, to the, to the Bible. Um, let's head over to the Bible, and we'll go to Matthew 24, 30. Okay, Matthew 24, 30 is where Jesus makes one of his one of his many promises to of his of, of his coming he says and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth moon and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory so jesus positively said he as the son of man will come in the clouds of heaven and he said that in the year between the year 27 and the year 31 that's during his ministry okay he said that as we may say 2000 years ago now but what jesus was promising here what he was saying here he was basing it off of an old covenant prophecy did you know that <laughs> comment down below and tell me if you knew that jesus's promise to come again in the clouds of heaven was based on a old covenant prophecy yes it's daniel chapter 7 verse 13 so let's go over there daniel chapter 7 verse 13 and scroll down to verse 13 i'm not going to read the whole thing if you want you can do that but i'm going to show you daniel saw in night visions and this is very important okay daniel was seeing a vision so which means what he is seeing is highly symbolic all right, visions are symbolic. Um, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. <laughs> you see where Jesus got it from? He got it from a vision that Daniel had. And once it is a vision, most likely the term clouds of heaven is symbolized or represents something else not not a not literal atmospheric clouds he's talking about okay it's symbolic of something else it's symbolic of a heavenly reality okay so but here's the here's the here's the prophecy and it is a prophecy made during the sinai covenant so it is made to israel so the second coming of christ must be fulfilled to israel and it must be fulfilled during the old covenant because it's an old covenant promise. It had to be fulfilled before the pro before the covenant ended. Comment down below and tell me if you knew that already before. I'm telling you, you have never heard it like this anywhere, right? So Jesus used use of that phrase, 
coming with the clouds of heaven is taken from a vision. Therefore, he is t making a symbolic term. He's not speaking literally. Okay? Now, most importantly, the timing of the coming, it has to occur before the covenant end. And we know the covenant ended in the year 70. So Jesus had to come back. That, that coming with the clouds of heaven, that had to have happened before or at the, the year 70. Okay? So just by understanding the, the, the covenant prophecy principle, we can ascertain that at least Jesus had to have come with the clouds of heaven before the Sinai covenant ended. All right? 